So, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to take a look at a segment of the Stephen King, George A. Romero uh, movie creep show, which is kind of based on the old EC comics that influenced uh, many creators, including Stephen King. Now, we're not going to talk about the, uh, the multi-part segment. I basically believe the movie itself needed a, a crisper editor, uh, two hours long for all the multiple segments. It was a little bit too long. Uh, some segments really, really worked, and some segments really had no reason to be shown on any type of macabre uh, comedy style, dark comedy style movie. But the one for me that really stood out was uh, I consider almost like a throwback to the night gallery with the same kind of trope and uh, weird uh, script and ending because Stephen King wrote the screenplay for Peep Show. And again, this was the strongest. <laughs> it's something called Something to Tide You Over. Now, uh, the co-stars and guests are as, uh, as, as different as two actors you can ever get. The incomparable comedy and drama star Leslie Nielsen, who was uh, really building on his Frank Drebin character at the time, and the second co-lead is Ted Danson, of all people, uh, from a uh, uh, building career, uh, you know, uh, Body Heat was his biggest uh, part before that, and he was uh, about to play a major role on TV as the lead Sam Malone in Cheers. Now, uh, something to tide you over, it's uh, kind of a play on the revenge trope that a lot of these comic books, uh, especially Golke and Carlton, uh, perfected after the EC comic era. It stars uh, Nielsen as Richard Vickers, who is a uh, vicious, wealthy, and ruthless man uh, whose fried jocularity belies his cold-blooded murderousness, murderousness. He stages a terrible fate for his unfaithful wife, Becky, and uh, her lover, Harry Wentworth, by separately luring them out to a secluded beach property and then at gunpoint, bearing them up to their next below the high tide line. Now, as a maritimer that grew up in the North Shore of New Brunswick, I can tell you, like many of us, we're not only scared of water, we're scared of the water above our heads. Uh, and uh, this movie plays on that fear tremendously. The cinematography in the, in the, in the segment it's quite strong with the close-ups and the various uh, facial expressions that uh, uh, Danson does and his female co-lead. Now, uh, the Vickers character explains that he have a chance of survival if he can hold her breath long enough for the sand to loosen once the seawater covers him so he can break free and escape. Now, uh, to accomplish his, uh, what he calls, his evil, Vickers, who is kind of an expert on, on television cold circuits, sets up two of these cameras so he can watch them die from the comfort of his well-appointed beach house. Uh, looking directly into the camera, Dance's character vows revenge, to which Richard retorts, you got to hold your breath, Harry. The next day, Richard returns his body buried Harry and finds a ruined camera tripod, but no sign of Harry's corpse. Uh, Richard shocks up the lack of corpse due to Harry Becky being carried off to sea by the current. However, and like most things like that, you can you know this is a this is a portion of revenge. The two allegedly deceased uh, victims of uh, Richard come back to uh, basically uh, you know exact a very important revenge, which is kind of a mimic of what he did to them. Now. Uh, like I said, overall, it's a uh, <coughs> it's a quick segment. Uh, it's uh, well played out. Leslie Nielsen uh, enjoys playing against type, but Ted Danson uh, makes the whole part here because you know Ted Danson at the time was a very handsome, uh, not say relatively young man, but a very handsome man. You can expect the fact that he has as much of a an ego to try to take Vickers' a wife, a wife away from him without uh, thinking there was uh, going to be complications. Now, there were some uh, protests about the uh, what seemed to be uh, putting uh, the uh, dancing and female culture in danger. There was rumors that uh, Romero uh, kept the scene going a little bit too long. We don't know what's called water that's flowing up to the actors because there's several uh, minutes of water, basically, you know, if you were stuck up to your head in the sand on the beach, that's what it would look exactly like 
uh, you know, for the water to move up. You really don't know if it's fake or if it's real because uh, some of the screens of terror and the, and the visual cues and dancing and, like I said, the female co-lead are very strong. It's well played out. Uh, it does fall flat in the, the revenge aspect of the last five minutes of the uh, vignette. But, uh, like I said, for me, it stands out in 1980s horror not because it's the greatest horror uh, of all time, but it's kind of ingenious that King would come up with a, uh, a coastal motif. But uh, as a lot of a lot of people already know, that Maine being a coastal state, and uh, he felt it might be a tribute to all the fans of those uh, those type of uh, fears. Like if you uh, if you fear cheating, if you fear the water, this is something that uh, you know drew a lot of uh, ire. And uh, with the crowd of people I saw at the camps in the Paramount, that's the thing that he liked the most because Creepshow as a whole was hit and miss. I wouldn't recommend paying to see this. I would recommend, uh, you know, getting the Hollywood suite package and watching it. And uh, there is, uh, like I said, the, the second strongest one, of course, is the uh, Stephen King farmer character who meets up with a meteorite that turns him into uh, uh, grass, which has to be seen to believe, or as you call it, meteor shit. So on this COVID Tuesday, we, uh, we welcome you to uh, give a like, subscribe, or comment to our podcast channel. Again, uh, we're pushing towards 76,000 page views, which is great because there's no ads on my uh, on my podcast, no, no monetization. I don't make any money off it. I just do it as a continuation of my old uh, print columns that dated back to 1983. Uh, again, uh, if you have any suggestions, let me know. And if you like it, tell your friends. And if you don't like it, don't tell nobody. Have a good day. And by the way, never cheat, especially when an ocean is nearby. may come back to haunt you.